Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We might as well say the real footies starts today. I've been talking up this promo Friday for the last two days, and now we actually have some news that supports the hype and some leaks that honestly look insane. News and leaks so recent, in fact, that I didn't even have time to update the thumbnail for today's video. So we're going to get into all of that. And with massive SBCs coming, what is the pack grind going to look like? What is it going to be like today with SBCs and the market and maybe even TOTS cards impacted by everything that is coming and the re-release of cards, as we mentioned, hopefully Hopefully the best cards yet added to the re-release guys there's a lot to discuss today if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new now before we do that we're going to look back at yesterday's thursday content because ea made the same weekly mistake they've made now for the past two weeks releasing a footies card but like not actually releasing it right let's go to the spcs and look at first what we had with a daily login every single thursday now we're getting the daily login with the objective that is linked to it of course it's the same 84 times 10 reward once we get this done each and every what is it tuesday or wednesday we're getting a free 84 10 from doing this make sure you get it done that same objective is there now player sbc yesterday we just had one or so we thought well we have raul jimenez honestly when i saw this sbc i was confused because we had peter crouch two days ago who in my opinion was the same card as this or even better finesse shot technical acrobatic and aerial he is very very cheap only one squad to complete thirty-three thousand coins if you're a Fulham fan or if you're a mexican fan you're probably enjoying this sbc but for most of us probably doing peter crouch is higher on our list of cards to do via sbc than that raul jimenez we also had marquee matchups yesterday which i'm gonna actually shout this sbc we don't talk about marquee matchups much but a tradable pack of this value if you get some random cards in your club that you feel like, especially from exchanges, you can do, do this SPC. It's tradable packs with all the stuff that's going to be released in packs day, a new best of batch number three. That will be worth completing. You probably pack a special card and make a few coins from it. So that's a shout actually for marquee matchups. Now let's get to the mistake from yesterday. You guys maybe have seen Footbin, Foot.gg, whatever site you use. You've seen a Pop and you've seen a Cordoba. And you may also think, Nate, where's the extra weekend league objective? Well, there were three things that weren't released on the game yesterday, but two were released in concepts. The first of which is this 96 rated Cordoba. He is a small upgrade over the 95 rated grades of the game card. Very small upgrade in terms of the stats. He did get a four star, five star boost, and they made his playstyle pluses worse, in my opinion. They took away the aerial plus that he had. He's only five foot eight or what, five foot nine. So he's pretty short. He needed that aerial plus. That is a footies card that we don't know where it is, but it was added into concepts. Same, same thing with the pop five star five star 98 rated it's a plus one over her team of the season card that she had again not a crazy good card but a solid one I think, guys, that EA forgot to release an SBC for Cordoba, just like they did for Schweinsteiger last week. And I think that this pop card is actually supposed to be released in objectives as a weekend league objective reward. That's just my opinion, because both those cards were added to concepts yesterday. And as of right now, we have no weekend league objective and we didn't have a Cordoba SBC. Maybe Cordoba is the objective and pop was the SBC. I just feel like one's supposed to be in the weekend league tied to that and the other one would be an SBC. So I I guess we're waiting until content today to see if one or either of those cards are dropped because remember what happened with the Schweinsteiger was it was released in concepts and then the next day it came out via SBC but that's the same mistake now that happened with Sterling it happened with Carvalho and it happened with Schweinsteiger and here we are once again with Pop and Cordoba it's like every Wednesday or Thursday there's some sort of card that is released in concepts that is Nowhere to be found in the game. Really, really weird. Hopefully that doesn't continue, probably because EA is so busy trying to get ready for FC25. Simple things like this are falling through the cracks, but it is what it is. Hopefully we see those cards soon. Now, let's get to today's news, guys, because there is a lot to discuss. We have Footies Team 3 leaving packs. Also, the best of re-release that has been here for two weeks now. Team 2 leaving packs and a new one coming in. Now, let's get straight to the leaks and just start talking about this footy stuff guys because i've been hyping up this day for the last couple of days i talked about saving my packs yesterday i talked about selling cards two days ago because of how hype today's promo could and really should be but this is the beginning of footies that i think is going to be the wow wow wing like genuinely insane end game content that a lot of us have been looking for and now we have some leaks 
to prove it, guys. Take a look at this. And the first thing I want to say is, last week, this Georgie Foot account on Twitter hasn't leaked anything for ages, right? Usually we look at Foot Sheriff, FIFA Trading Romania, and some of those other accounts. This guy got the leak spot on last week. He had the SBC spot on, and he's back again this week with the footies leaks, and he's dropping some heat. First leak that he posted is Mia Hamm is set to be coming as a footies icon probably an SBC. Guys, this is like an R9 level card. She is the woman version of R9 in game. Five star, five star. Her team of the year item, her base card I used after the SBC came out late in the year. This card is so freaking good and she's going to be an SBC. That's the type of end game card that a lot of people have been asking for for an SBC player. I know it's another striker. We've had Butra, we've had Eto, we've had so many strikers, but that is like an R9 level type of card. Four playstyle pluses. She's going to be absolutely insane. That's a huge SBC player right there. And evidently, it's coming this weekend. It gets better. We have Ginola, who's leaked also as an SBC. Last year, we had a footies Ginola. I don't know if any of you guys remember the 97 Ginola we had last year. We were thinking Ginola was going to get a footies this year because he hadn't had a crazy high-rated card yet. And this leak confirms it as well. He is getting another card. And it's also leaked as an SBC. Like, this is getting crazy, right? We have an SBC of Mia Hamm. We have an SBC Ginola. This is kind of what we've been asking for, right? Let's keep going. Who's going to be in packs? Oh, Sawa. We have been waiting for a Sawa special card since Team of the Year. Some people still use this card or even evolved her in some of the recent Evos that we've had because her card is so good in game. We are getting another version of her. I think it's going to be impacts based off of this leak, right? He is kind of leaking like impacts versus SBC. This seems to be an impacts card, but that's going to be a crazy one. Probably one of the better icons re release impacts today. Now, this has got to be a 99. I know the concept here is a 98. And again, just to preface, I think all of these leaks are for the players only. None of the stats, none of the ratings, anything like that would be confirmed just for the players. Mohamed Salah, I'm guessing he's a 99. He's got to be, right? And EA, just drop a bunch of 99s, right? We're now in almost the middle of August. It's August 9th. Drop a bunch of 99 ratings. Give us five or four of them for Team 4, right? Just do it. Why not, right? But Mohamed Salah, got to be 5-star, five 5-star. Five got to have Finesse+. plus. Going to be an insane card. He's going to be insane. So that's another one that is leaked. Probably going to be in packs. Most likely going to be one of our most expensive cards re-released or released into footies as well. Another big name, Joao Felix, is a part of the set of leaks coming to footies team four. He's probably going to be 5-5. Five, five. He's probably going to be really expensive. If they can make Frimpong a 99... Or maybe if they make Usman Dembele a 98, then you would imagine that Chua Felix could also be a 98 or a 99. So we'll have to see what happens there. But he's getting a card today as well. Another icon leaked, Carlos Alberto. Almost feels like we have the whole team or most of the leaked team as we look through these leaks right now. Carlos Alberto is getting another card there. And we are getting an Alex Morgan as well. Another USA women's striker, Mia Hamm. Alex Morgan, this card got kind of legendary status earlier on this year in FC24 for being one of the best cards with the Finesse Plus play style. Even on her base gold, people were using this card a crazy amount in the game. She had an SBC earlier on this year that was really, really cracked and a couple other items that were insane. She's going to be very expensive, I think, and she's probably going to be 99 as well. If they made Puteas a 99... Morgan should be a 90 or 99 as well, at least in my humble opinion. Let's keep going. We have more. Julie is set to come as a 40s hero. This to me is kind of like maybe Papin, Milito, Rickon level, maybe one of those fodder footies hero cards, but still could be decent in game. Going to have a lot of pace. We move. Ona Batie had that SBC. I think it was an SBC, right? During uh, team of the season, she had a team of the year card as well that was really, really good. This is going to be a footies card that looks to be in packs. All these ones we've just looked at have been in packs. That's looking pretty crazy. That could be a really good card. Barca Lynx, we take those. This one, I don't know if I'm happy to see or upset to see. Drogba is set to come as a footies icon in Team 4 as well. We, we had that Drogba um, ECL whatever tournament of Pro FC 24 card, that one that was an SBC. I don't even know if I used that card for a single game. And then like Weghorst came on the game and all these other insane aerial plus strikers, but he is the OP aerial plus goat, the Golazo Drogba from earlier on this year. And guess what? He's getting another card. Imagine a 5-5 Drogba scoring headers, but then also doing like elasticos 
and maybe even having finesse like that would be disgusting a finesse plus aerial plus draw like this card's gonna be broken and i don't know if i'm excited for that one but that's a huge freaking card that's gonna be dropping a couple others that are leaked we have nicolo barella as well he's gonna be pretty high rated as an inter center midfielder inter fans enjoy the actual logo being the game before fc25 comes around sorry to mention that again but it looks bad in fc25 if you've seen any of the posts about that the leaks i guess you would say they're not confirmed but they're leaks barella is getting a card for today burkamp is getting an icon card today and kohler is getting a card as well so this is the leaked team so far and to be honest with how many cards we have here versus how many cards we have in packs for footies team three I would expect there to be a couple more to fill in the gaps, right? You take a look at the total team and packs here from Footies Team 3. There's a few more, especially considering that the Ginola and the Mia Ham are both SBCs. But guys, come on. That, especially for the SBCs, right? Especially for the SBCs, that looks really, really crazy. That's the thing that hits me, and I'm like, wow. I know last week with Team 3, you had the Ronaldo, the Frimpong, the Ferdinand, Usman, the company. Maybe Team 3 is a little better than the impacts cards from Team 4. You could make that statement. You can make that point. But to be completely honest, it's the SBCs that go crazy with this. So, with that being said, those are the Team 3 cards coming out today, but we're also really excited for the best of re-release Team number 3, and I've mentioned this, but it's worth mentioning again that a lot of cards, I really think, are going to tank in value today because they're going to get re-released. And I know there's so many Team of the Tournaments, there's so many Path to Glories and Maker Mark cards that could be re-released today. Are all of these going to come back out? I think the answer to that has to be no, because it's not a guarantee that Conte gets into packs or that the 98 rated Jude Bellingham gets back into packs. Is it possible? Yes. But is all of those going to get back into packs? I don't think so. It's not physically possible to have that many cards in packs, at least according to what we think EA would like to do. But I'm sure a lot of them will be, and there's going to be some panic selling. And even if they're not released in packs for a Team 3 best of release batch number 3, they're probably going to drop anyway because if anything like last year happens today, there's going to be market crashing all around. So I kind of wanted to mention that. I think there's going to be a lot of market crash today. But we're specifically looking for the re-release team number three once again to include a lot of Make Your Mark, Path to Glory, Team of the Tournament, and regular team of the season cards. Like, I mean, guys, again, you probably saw my tweet yesterday. I mentioned it in the video, but I'm going to pull it up here once again. This is how PAX looked last year, man. Like this was, they gave out a free 85 times 10 last year on this very day of Footies Friday when they released Batch 3, re-release, and the crazy cards. And this was the free 85 10 that they gave everybody. PAX looked different for the whole two weeks that this batch was out last year. And I'm really hoping that those are the same vibes that come back today. And you would kind of think that they might be if we had the Mia Ham leak, we have the Ginola leak, we have other big SBCs incoming. And maybe another repeatable 92 plus pick type of SBC coming out as well. Packs that would look halfway like this or mostly like this with a lot of team of the season cards would solve all of our problems right now on this game. So that's really the hope for today. And not to just, you know, continue to harp on that same point, but it's really about the re-release today with all the tots cards that'll be inside of it, but also the top tier footies cards that will have a chance to pack. And the cards that seem like they could be in the promo team, but they're so good as SBCs that we will want to craft. And with the packs being as good as they are, it'll just feel like, you know, you can rip unlimited packs. That's how it felt. I'm just remembering last year once again. The end of footies was so different to the beginning last year, and we have not really enjoyed footies to the fullest this year. I just think it has more room to grow, and I think today it's going to do that. But once again, just to mention the market stuff for you guys, remember this Pogba? Man, it's been a while since we've had Pogba. Well, this really was the last Pogba card we've had in, in a FIFA game, FIFA 23. Pogba last year, uh, he was re-released in packs and went from 2.7 mil to 600k. So that's, again, another reference to if you have any of these Team of the Tournament cards, if you have any of the Path to Glories, the safe route is to sell. A lot of them are still up, but I think prices are going to keep crashing as we get closer to content today. And then after content, that is what I would expect. So EA... Do not mess up today, all right? Do not mess up today. I've got packs saved. We have the 84 times 10 that's going to refresh in SBCs that we will all be able to do five more times today. I think the 85 times 10 will be able to do once more as well because those SBCs expire on Saturday. And I'm, I'm looking forward two days right now in saying this, but this is also the time last year when we had the unlimited repeatable 84 times 10. Can you imagine? 
and unlimited repeatable 84 times 10. Even if we, you know, get the 85 times 10 in three times repeatable on uh, Saturday, the 84 times 10 unlimited repeatable from Saturday beyond with all these new cards and packs, with the footies cards, with a insane SBC, it's going to be crazy. Now, again, I mentioned the SBCs being pretty expensive, and I want to go back to this just really quick and talk about the price and what you're probably going to expect today just to set an expectation. A Mia Ham SBC, I know we were just kind of like blown away with Eto being 32 squads. Like, don't be surprised if we have an SBC today that's like 40 squads, honestly. Like, a Mia Ham is going to be expensive. Expensive. He's going to be a very, very expensive card. Ginola would be a really expensive card as well. I want to take a look at the Ronaldinho cover star icon. This was 33 SBC challenges to complete last year. And if we have an Eto that's already 32 with how cheap fodder is, I wouldn't be surprised if Mia Ham or Ginola would be 40 plus. I think the record was set with Cristiano Ronaldo's footies 99 last year in FIFA 23. I think it was 50 squats. Was that the record? Hold on. Let me just pull this up real quick. 99 Cristiano Ronaldo SBC was 42 to complete and maybe it was the Messi there was one that was 50 SBCs was it Messi 26 challenges maybe it was just Ronaldo with 42 but that's crazy right that is honestly mad we might have an SBC like quantity of squads similar to that even as early as today guys just just saying that to get your expectations in a place where it's not going to be like Mia Ham or Ginola is cheap today they're going to be expensive they're going to be tough to craft but that's kind of the whole point EA just lets us loose and lets us have fun in this end game type of period and that's the fun part about this stage of footy. So I have very high expectations today and I have very high hopes for a really fun day on this game. As I did mention, one of the best things about this last week of footies that really saved this last week was this 92 plus pick. We're got, we got to get something else today like this. Whether it's a 93 plus, continuing with the PTG, make your mark, team, the tournament, footies, team, one, two, three, and four. Inside of it, we would take that. Um, if they increase the rating, if they make it a one of four, a one of five, how many one of five player picks have we had not very many we still have some room to grow even here in the end game with some of those insane player picks or you know ea making those player picks a bit more insane just to kind of think about that so that is one thing i did want to mention we got to have something like this today there was a couple of new packs that were added to code since we're on this topic let me look this up on foot scoreboard um really fast but those packs that were added to the code to me looked like they were solely store packs footies batch three prism pack this is a store pack it's probably, I don't know if it drops today or if it drops sometime during the weekend. 30 player items from the batch three of the re-release. If we're thinking batch three is going to be pretty sick, this pack might be worth thinking about potentially opening with coins. We'll just have to see who is in batch three and what the cost of it is. That's going to be expensive. Also, a footies batch three grab bag, which still seems like a store pack to me, even though it's a one player pack. And then a footies week four guarantee, which is an 83 times 10, guaranteeing you a footies team four week four player item. That's going to be the most expensive 83 times 10 you will ever see. I would not open that pack, but there will be crazy store packs because, you know, EA is trying to get that bread in the end game. But if you have an 84 times 10, that's going to be mostly repeatable. You have exchange packs. You even have the 82 plus player pick. It's going to be virtually unlimited anyway, doing the regular menu grind. Now, a couple other things I'm going to discuss before we um, keep going in the video is related to fodder today, 83s, 4s, and 5s they're probably going to be the best place of fodder to invest in. All other fodders probably going to be chalked. Maybe the 86s and 7s can move a little bit, but if everybody's packing high-rated team of the seasons with those being in the re-release today, team of the seasons are going to drop a bunch in price, and you're not going to really need anything else except for kind of like this last week, which you've needed, 83s, 4s, and 5s. So that's kind of the fodder market that I would be looking at today, depending on the continent that is dropped. And if you did buy team of the seasons Wednesday night, Thursday morning, they only hit a low, like we talked about, of 36 to 37,000 coins. I'm still not liking this investment, but if you made the investment there and you sold during the peak yesterday after content, TOTS cards went to about 45k, I am worrisome for these cards today. I really am. I know they could be required, but if they are in packs at least three quarters of the amount they were last year, these cards are going to drop off hard because they're going to be literally, it'll feel like packing a TOTS card in every single pack. So we will just have to see how that goes down, but I'm very careful the TOTS scenario right now. I am not invested at all. I've got basically all my coins liquid. They're literally all my coins liquid. I've got packs stashed 
I've got exchanges stashed as well and a club that is ready to just send a massive SBC and, and a, a, a me and probably a U2 that is just ready to pack crazy stuff and have the gates open wide when it comes to the footies content. Now we'll talk about Evos. One really last point here I want to make about evolutions because Evos have been a point of footies that started off great. But it's kind of been slow since then. We've had good ones here, like the Footies Duo 1 and 2. I still have a Footies Duo 2 here um, that you only have a couple more hours today before content to put somebody into if you want to do a Footies Evolution there. We do have a new Footies Evo that is leaked, and we haven't had many leaks for Evos, but we do have one today, and it is the Footies Founder evolution added to come really interesting one here because you might be like they didn't we just have a founders evo that was like really bad and and yeah you'd be right we did the ultimate founders evo that a lot of us maybe didn't even have cards for so what in the world is this one like a founder evolution i was like wait this is not academy evolution remember where they gave you the cards like they did during the euros with that olise and the james madison or the richarlison for the copa side of things i don't think it's like that but is it really a founder founders evolution or is this something completely different? So I'm really curious to see what this is today. Um, I really don't know. Um, this is something that I'm just kind of like, we'll just have to wait and see what it is if EA drops it. But the evos that have been released on Fridays at least have been pretty decent. Remember, we had the footies duo one and two. I think it was it passing mastermind or technical titan was dropped last week along with the silvers uh, attacker and evos as well. So I have high hopes for that Evo today, but really it's all about the packs and the SBCs, but I wanted to mention that there because I am expecting that. Now, once again, if you're thinking about playing the weekend league, I mean, I'm not going to tell you to hold off because, you know, it's August. If you want to get your games and get your games in, right? But we could have another objective if that pop or the court above were to drop today with content. If you're playing weekend league games ahead of the content drop, those games would not count. So if you're not in a hurry to get your games done, which would be me, then maybe you're not starting just yet, just in case to see if we get that as a part of content today. And then we can see what happens and go from there. So honestly, guys, the packs are saved. The hopes are high. And I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for footies to really start. We've been saying it. Footies has kind of been, it's been good in some parts. It's been good on the weekends. And that's another thing to be excited for today is the Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays have all hit. But then when we get to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it drops down. If we have a good Friday today with a Mia Ham or a Ginola or maybe even multiple player SBCs, like think about it, even not leaked from any of the lists that we have looked at, usually on Fridays, we're getting a player SBC that's an icon and we're also getting a regular player SBC. Remember Timo Werner? Remember last week or two weeks ago, we had Dybala as well. I guess Werner wasn't on a Friday, but we've had good player SBCs on Fridays too. So even like Robertson was last week and he was super duper cheap, right? But it was still a good SBC. I'm really, really expecting for multiple player SBCs today, a pack grind that is insane, a good evolution. And you know what? The last thing, the icing on the cake would be footies cards that actually feel packable because these footies cards over the past couple weeks have not felt very packable. And if that changes today, then footies would well and truly be the footies that we remember and that we think of all the time for the end game FC slash FIFA content. So I'm not really going to invest any of my coins right now. I know some of you guys are looking to invest in a footies card going out of packs. I'm going to put a pause on that personally just to wait and see what the content drop is like today because it might just be, if the content's good enough, might just be one of those days that like everything just continues to drop and then maybe there'll be some bounce backs later. But if some cards like these team of the tournaments are dropping a lot in price, it might just drag some of the whole market down with it. So that's the video for today, guys. Join me in the hype. We'll be in the stream today before content, checking everything out, getting ready for it, and getting excited for Footies Team 4 and the best of batch release team number three. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in that stream today. It's been Nathan for Count, and have a great Friday. Peace out.